The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have seen Christ's glory, the glory as of a father's only son. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun. And we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. Let us praise and thank the Lord. It is right and fitting, for greatness, magnificence, and glory belong to him. We praise and thank you, O God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom you have enlightened us by revealing the light that never fades. Night is falling and day's allotted span draws to a close. The daylight which you created for our pleasure has fully satisfied us, and yet of your free gift, now the evening lights do not fail us. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him be glory, power, and honor to you and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Let this be the reward. The Lord save them out of their distresses. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. 
let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way, they found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. Their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses, and he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God, and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor, they fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord save them out of their distresses. We confess thy mercies, O Lord, which thou constantly displayest towards our need, beseeching thee that thou who art exalted in the churches and sittest at the right hand of the Father on his throne, mayest grant us to understand and ponder the secret of such great loving kindness, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen.
This is he whom seers in old time chanted of with one accord, whom the voices of the prophets promised in their faithful word. Now he shines the long expected. Let creation praise its Lord evermore and evermore. Let the heights of heaven adore him, angel host his praises sing. Powers, dominions bow before him and extol our God and King. Let no tongue on earth be silent, every voice in concert ring, evermore and evermore. Christ to thee with God the Father, and O Holy Ghost to thee, him enchant in high thanksgiving and unwearied praises be honor glory and dominion and eternal victory evermore and evermore A reading from St. John, the 10th chapter. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep, and all who came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and I have other sheep that are not of this fold, I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it up again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Peter Julian Imard. We should honor the Blessed Sacrament when exposed by even greater reverence and respect than when enclosed in the tabernacle. Our Lord exposed in the Blessed Sacrament is the King upon his throne. If this respect is due from all, it should be not shown in a more marked degree by us, who are the courtiers of this divine king. It is not only an honor that we are bound to render to our Lord, but a true adoration, for he wills to be honored by the body as well as the interior man. This is the reason why an exterior and sensible worship is observed, 
animated by the inner worship of charity. As regards the exterior worship, greater ceremony and solemnity is required by the church when the Blessed Sacrament is exposed than when it is reserved in the tabernacle, because it is a greater manifestation of the love of our Lord. The church wishes that our Lord should shine out upon his throne in glory above all others, and that he should absorb all our thoughts, wishing that the adorer should concentrate all thoughts and devotion upon the adorable person of Jesus Christ, and that all exterior ceremony may, be, may surround the blessed sacrament alone. The genuflection is no longer a sufficient mark of respect. A more profound prostration on both knees is fitting when addressing the king upon his throne. We should study the liturgy of the church, and by our exterior deportment in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, express the deep respect and adoration that fills our hearts. St. Peter Julian Eimer. various ways God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his son. Let us dance with delight in the Lord, and let our hearts be filled with rejoicing, for eternal salvation has appeared on earth. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us dance with delight in the Lord, and let our hearts be filled with rejoicing. For eternal salvation has appeared on earth. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all people in their daily life and work, for families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for freedom, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the just and proper use of God's creation, for the victims of poverty, fear, injustice, and oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the peace and unity of the Church of God, 
And for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for all people who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the special needs and concerns of this congregation and the prayers of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant, we implore you, Almighty God, that the new birth of your only begotten Son in the flesh may set us free who are held in the old bondage under the yoke of sin. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord, thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.